the sunflower seedling. A little seedling was planted in the garden by a kind gardener who loved it and wanted it to be happy. However, this little seedling felt sad. One day, the gardener came into the garden and sat down on a bench with her friends. The seedling overheard them talking to each other. This is what they said. It is good to be like a beautiful flower, displaying all your talents. But it is even better to be a ray from the sun, giving light and warmth to others. The other plants had told the little seedling that one day he would become a flower, and he'd felt very proud of this. But now he wanted to be a ray of the sun instead. What could he do? The little seedling decided to open his leaves as wide as possible and tried very hard to grow in the direction of the sun. Maybe this would help him to become a sun ray. On grey and rainy days, the seedling refreshed himself by wiggling his roots in the water to drink up the droplets. On windy days, the seedling's stem grew stronger as he swayed in harmony with the refreshing breezes. Life was not always easy. There was a proud rose bush growing above him, which blocked out the light. The little seedling felt jealous. Can you see him there in the corner, feeling sad with the roses above him? However, as the weeks went by, the seedling grew as tall as the rose bush, with a halo of small petals surrounding his head. Each stage of growth had its difficulties. A weed climbed up his stem, which made it hard to stand upright. Then a snail nibbled a hole in his leaf, which made the poor seedling cry. <laughs> Despite these challenges, the seedling was determined to become a ray of the sun. He saw that supporting the weeds to climb upwards was his way of giving light to others. Feeding the snail was helping her to feel happy. And he could always grow new leaves. When the gardener returned, the seedling overheard her saying how important it was to plant flowers of every colour, form and smell side by side. Each flower, tree or fruit, besides being beautiful in itself, brings out the qualities of its neighbours and shows up their special loveliness. The seedling had never looked at the garden in this way before. He stopped feeling jealous of the rose bush and looked at his neighbours with fresh eyes. He noticed the gorgeous scent of the lavender bush, the pretty petals of the primrose and the tall cypress tree swaying gently in the wind. When the sun came out, he saw the contrasting patterns of lights and shades. The special days were when it rained. The plants were put on their best glossy coats and sprinkled sweet perfume throughout the garden. The kind seedlings shared nutrients with the other plants when they felt unwell and sent them loving messages through his roots. After a couple of weeks, the seedling realised they'd grown taller than all the other plants and his bud had opened out into one enormous yellow flower. As soon as the seedling began to see the good qualities in the other plants, he grew quickly. He caught all of the light because he was taller than his neighbours, but they didn't mind because his leaves cast just small shadows. The next time the gardener came to the garden, she pointed at the grown-up seedling and said, What a beautiful sunflower! 
The seedling beamed with joy because the gardener was very happy and called him a sunflower. He could not change from a flower into a ray of the sun, but he could change his inner nature and shine on the other plants with the light of love. For the rest of his life, the sunflower told jokes and was very happy. He radiated joy out to the other plants in the garden and filled their hearts with warmth. And this is the joke he's saying. What did the bee say to the flower? And the bee is saying, hello, honey. What are your unique qualities, talents and strengths? And here in the garden, you can see all these different flowers and creatures with all different qualities. There's a really strong tree in the middle there and the resourceful spiders making a web and lots of exuberant flowers underneath and an artistic peacock, a very brave plant down the bottom there because it's got spiky, spiky leaves to make it brave. And behind there is a resilient cactus. It has to be resilient because it lives in the desert and doesn't get much water. And then there's a funny plant behind him. And in the tree, there's a wise owl and some eloquent birds and another singing bird there. And a sporty flying bird next to the tall tree. And sitting up there in the corner is a person who's good at climbing and discovering. And there's a fruitful tree. And there's some roses, very confident, and there's some dancing flowers. And behind them is someone who's really good at hiding. Can you see that little hiding person? I wonder if you could use these talents to shine the light of love onto others, like the kind sunflower. And there's the sun radiating all the kind qualities. Giving, kind, loving, helping, radiant, generous, warm, friendly, luminous, inspiring, patient, protecting, caring, compassionate. The end.